Hello, welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of The Exorcist for the Sisters of Battle. Ooh. Cool. This, it looks really, really nice, actually. Yes. It looks a lot nicer than the metal model that I've got upstairs. There's a lot more things on the side, to yeah. be quite honest, and a lot more MacGuffin on it, as you call it. MacGuffin, yeah. MacGuffin, yeah. It does look awesome. So, there is the back of the box. Lots of cherubs. I like the way what they've done here. They put like little missiles in the yeah, you can see organ the pipes, yeah. Nice. And um, I think there was a picture that you can see where they actually are playing the organ. There you go, yeah. that one there. Sweet. <laughs> so that That's looks cool. cool. So let's get this open and have a look at the uh, goodness inside. <laughs> This is the first sister of our time. It is actually, yeah. I'm surprised they brought this one out first actually. I was expecting the emulator to come out first. Yeah, I thought we'd get the emulator. But, um, yeah. Maybe that's coming later. Or it's well, it's not be ready or whatever. Because that's nice. That's got the nice stained glass window on the front. Yes. Isn't it? He's got a few of those. Uh, yeah. So you're getting a few now, you've got the sisters. Yeah. There we go. Oh, nice colour. Nice. nice. That is the spring. Two spring. Okay, yeah. So that is mainly, as I call it, MacGuffin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Baroqueness. And then we have the um, sides of the. So Something that's more familiar as a rhino. Yeah. It's all uh, and then the obligatory transfer mm. sheet. I'm trying to figure out if this would be like a rhino, sort of standard rhino for the emulator as well, but it's got this bit on. Yeah. So I think they're going to be completely different kits. I think they probably will be, to be quite honest. The sides might be the mm. same, but the fronts might be different. Yeah, because the, I was expecting yeah. to just have like a modified main mm. kit. I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I think they've gone that they've made it unique, That's completely and utterly vaulter, unique. Yeah. And the heavy vaulters yeah. though on this sprue. Yeah. It's just not like there's something that just goes over that or anything. Yeah, interesting. Cool. There we go. Yeah. Right, so let's get. I like the doors as well that you get proper plastic. I was about to say the Emias I prefer that all that stuff. Mm. Right like that from the Horus um, mm. Right, so we'll be starting with the superstructure of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, 23, 48, 19, 18, 22, 47. Which is the entire first page. Which is basically the sides, the bottom, the rear hatch. And um, that's it really, because these are just like parts of the... Uh, gubbins. So we'll get all these off, get them cleaned up, and then we'll come back. Okay, so starting with part 23, we also have part 48, which is like a little wheel mechanism. Uh, there's a triangular hole uh, and a clip there, or peg, which, is, uh, which goes in there. So we'll just put that in. Oh. And it goes uh, pointing upwards, so like that basically. Uh, this side also has the, the same on that, so I'll just do this side as well while I'm at it. This is the exact opposite side, 22 and 47. Should do that as well. Then we have the back plate, which is there, and that attaches onto these two bits here, I believe. Around, around. Nope, I don't know where anything. Yep, so that's the front. This bit with the raised part is the front, there is the back. Um, that fits on there, like that. So the back's the part's got these four bits there. So we'll just stick that to the. So it goes in one place, which is good. I'm going to leave these to dry for a minute before I put them together, so we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I should glue the sides of the tank on. So these attach onto the, the wheel parts themselves. 
This is put together very different from existing rhinos that I've put together. Um, also the tracks were attached. So, so that fits on there and then there's that clip that clips onto the back like that. So that's going to clip on that side as well. Like that. So there we go, it's going to go on exactly like that. So I'll just glue that in place to be fair. Um, don't really need to do anything else other than that. In fact, I shall do that off camera because I'm going to have to hold on to it from both sides um, after it's glued. So I'll come back with it glued in place. It'll be a bit easier. Okay, so that's now set in place. Cool. So now we have to uh, add these tracks on. Just a little bit of a fiddly bit. Uh, we have. Um, them set out, so we've got 43, 42, and 41. Yeah. So you have a large track, and then we have the small, and then it's got a little sister to battle symbol on it. Oh, cool. Mm. As opposed to the real eagle. Cool. And then 37, 36, and 35. So that should line up with left and right tracks like that. And then these are the rear ones mm -hmm. 38, 39, 40, 44, 45, and 46. So they're all should all go on the same way. So let's uh, make sure these fit in. So this is a bit more like traditional tracks on the rhino. We had to slide everything in, but you had to you used to you used to have to put all these bit bits on as well. So that'll go on there. And then the small piece in the middle. Slot that into place. And then the top bit. Mm. Yep. Yep. This has got into lock, that's why it was uh use both fingers. There we go. Oh. Same thing on the other side. All over this actually. And we start with the large bit, small bit, medium sized bit. Push that into place. Good. And then on the back, so we turn it around, so this should be this side. So on, same again, large one first, Oops. I'm going to lock into place but Large one, medium one, sorry. It's underneath that bit of that. So it's going to be easier to put that bit on first and then lock this bit in. Right. And then sides the same. Okay. 
Right. That's the tracks. Mm-hmm. So then we have the front heavy bolter. Which just attaches in two places. And that. That's 11 and 12. We have the front plate. So this serves to push this through here without gluing it because we're uh, wanting it to twist. And then we have this bit. Yeah. So this bit fits on the back. So this has got a bit in the bottom for the heavy bolt to sit in and swivel. Ah. Like that. If we could fit that onto there, and then we want to glue around the edges and make sure we don't get any near the gun itself. Put that in there, it falls out. <laughs> Damn it! That's got to suck it into there, and it's got to suck it underneath. So I thought it would be awesome. I thought it would be a tire fit. It is. There we go. Mm. So he's pushing up to make sure that bit lines up underneath the. There we go. That's better. It's a nice solid fit, mate. There we go. So that's the front panel. Uh, so we've done. This bit we've added 17 on, which gives us this movable front. Whereas in the next bit, it's maybe to stick the front plate on. So, yeah, we need to add part 16 onto it. But I will attach this first because I can attach 16 afterwards. So, we've got these tabs there. Yeah, so let's put it on there as well. So. On that too. Right, and then we shall fit this as four corresponding tabs. So open this locks in to place. So yeah, it locks into place there. In theory, it should be better fitting than a normal rhino if it does not properly. In theory. Okay, so part 16 is going to go on the front there, and then that will finish off the, the hole, the first part of the hole. clean that up a little bit. Yeah, so, uh, so, all right, so there's a little bit of divot at the top, which goes on there. That's going to glue over the gun to help. what I'll do, I'll clean it up first and we'll get all these other bits off so this starts like the pull the, uh, like the organ organ I don't know what it's called, organ pit organ pit, pulp, yeah. it's like an organ yeah, so we'll get all these parts off and we can continue with it ok so first part is kind of finished moving on to the roof section we have this big piece which is 54 we have this keyboard section uh, which uh, goes there actually. So it's like two layers of keyboards, proper organ. Like that. 
so that was 92 then we have 94 which are these side pieces they sit on there and the other one will go on the other side let's put one it the other one's 93 they fit on there that fits on there with part 90 which is like the back part of the seat by the looks of it uh, and we have this part which is some fancy scrolls the fancy scrolls will attach here will attach here <laughs> I think it's what it looks like anyway it's got that moon yeah I was doing it too low so the those are the what well, those bits there are the uh, strands for those arches so let's put that on And the two scrolls will fit in between those. So I'll fit on just the nice. This bit. Uh, there's two little uh, grooves there. There's two little circular type pegs to attach them on. So just put a bit of glue around there. Place that in place. Then we have these other fancy bits of. Baroque. <laughs> um, so this is 89. This fits on this side, I think. Yeah. Uh, no. And then 88. Put on the other side. There are two little knobs there that fit into this bit of the front. Just to line it up like that. <coughs> so let's move that away. Uh, going over here, we have these bits which look like steps. On the side, these go as you say on the side, mm -hmm. the other steps to the doors. So, this one will go on there. Not sure which way up it goes. I'm not sure if there is a way up on there. I don't think there is, to be quite honest. to get knocked off. On this side. Like that. So we got those bit on. Then we have some headlights. There's no Sort of like part where they attach on here, um, but it does show them just going in that space. <laughs> so it does just show them there, basically. I'll just line it up to the edge of the tank. I think they do line up actually, looking at the picture. Too much glue on those bits because it'll go all over the front of the tank. Mm -hmm. uh, that brings us to these bits. But before I put those bits on, I will attach the top part of the tank as it shows there. Get this in place. I must admit, this has got a lot more character than the other Exorcist. It does, doesn't it? I do like it. Mm. The other excess was basically just a rhino with a bit added on top. Yeah. Make sure we're in place. Let's 
see a new one. See how they're squeezed. So this bit of the back, there's a lip. It's not quite locking into play. There we go. Nope, try again. We get both sides at the same time. Okay. Convince it to go on. Right, there we go. So that would just have a problem locking into place behind those those bits, but now it's in it's seems pretty solid the front parts jiggered up. So that's where I need to hold it and lock it in the back and then jig it up more. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Right, so now we have these, uh, the exhaust part. Exhaust parts, actually, yeah. Actually, like brazier things in the car. Mm. So, seven and four, three and eight, one and six, and two and five. All two part pieces. On their own, anyway. Uh, just go together like that. I should glue all these together. Again, another top tip, which I don't have an elastic band on me. If you do have an elastic band, you can always use them to hold tanks together. It used to be really good on the old rhinos and land raiders. Um, keep it in place while we'll the glue sets. That one's, it's not as bad as those, though, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, by any means. Right, so we'll stick on the fuel stacks now. And I make it that it's that way around. So that's the front, back, front, back. And they go onto these recesses and onto those nubs. Like cogs almost, those bits. I don't quite sit in those recesses. I do have this like pentagon shaped attachment. Put a nice bit of glue on top of that actually. It's probably better. Yeah, pentagon shapes. It's for the conspiracy theorists out there. <laughs> That's those on. We have this sort of bit here, it's like a, a reliquary or something. Looks like a little tabernacle actually. It's tabernacle? Back. Good yeah. point. I don't think it goes in though, because it says you want, you might want to paint it or take it before you go sticking it in. Yeah, true. True. Which way round does this go? I thought those were like bits for lining up, they're not like the sides. Mm -hmm. Don't think there's a particular we're around that goes. Mm. So that's 97. The back part's 95. This front part's 96. 96, yeah. Seems to go on. No problem. 
And where does this go? I think it goes on that bit there. It sits in that. Yeah, so that's going to sit in there when it's done. But all this is going to be built up. Yeah. So yeah, you might not want to glue that in. I don't know, maybe it's, it's not optional, is it? But all this bit is textured underneath where it sits. Yeah. I don't suppose you would necessarily need to. But yeah, just like a tabernacle. And it does go there, doesn't it? Yeah. So, well, they are a bit separate. So it can be painted separate. We should move on to the next page. Which is... Over here. So yeah, we've rubbed to this bit, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Put the stacks on, put the last bits there. Now we're on to finishing off the sides, starting on the organ. So we'll get the rest of these parts off. Be back with you in a second. Okay guys, so we'll start on this bit by adding on the doors, which are awesome. <laughs> um, it's part 21. Here's the first door, so we'll put some glue on those bits there, those bit there as well. That should be enough to glue them in place. Splashing glue everywhere. The doors have got um show you on this one. The doors have got those kind of attachments on there which fit into the little Parts inside the. It's got bent a little bit. Sorry, that's fine. Now. Right, so then we have uh, 66 and we have 68. Which are these two parts here? These two parts will be going together like that. And they'll be fitting onto these parts. So, one of them. Uh, the right way around. Yes, it is. Uh, one of them is going to go on there. One is going to go on there. Let's try a bit closer. We have this weird squiggly shaped bit. That's where the pipes go. Like that. So we'll put that in place. Side. So that was 6668. Uh, 67 is this bit here. This bit goes in the middle of these two. Similar attachment. Let's move this around. Like that. It also sits on the top of these two bits, what I'm actually going to do is put a little bit of glue on there as well, just to secure that in place. I was hoping it would sit flush with those. Right, then we have these three parts here, which basically like the engines from the Learning Falcon when they go on this, in these three separate grooves. So we have uh, 78. Sits on there. We have 79, which goes in the middle, and we have 80, which goes around that side. You can see what I mean. It's got these circular, it's got these three like almost engine compartments. So that's that part. Moving over to the side, we have these two big parts, which is 59 and 60, mm -hmm. which make the uh, like the wings, the wing section. I don't know if you see that on there. They go together, like I was doing that. Okay. And then, not only together, but they attach onto the. So it's going to cover this bit here. On the other side, and then we also have this bit up here, which we're going to go on there. 
Uh, it should also come down as to where those engine parts are, because you can see there's three clips. I'm just going to put some glue on the bottom part of this. And then cross your fingers. That should sit into those holes that correspond. I think it's outside that's not in. No. No. I thought this would just slide. Because of where it is. Of you might have been best doing it in two separate bits, putting Possibly. that one on and then... It's still tacky, so we'll, we'll try it that way. So here we go on there. Yeah, and then... And this bit locks into there. Or not. There we go. We're in. Yeah. Do it two separate bits. It's easier. Yeah. Just the image suggests you glue it together first. Yeah. But no, that's a lot I easier. I think that's easier doing it. It's a lot easier head. building it like that. Okay, mm. cool. Mm -hmm. Cool bananas. So the next part is the actual main weapon on this, which mm. is the uh, organ of doom. Mm. Um, so for this, is two options: there's the oh. Exorcist launcher. Yeah. And the conflagulation rockets. Conflagulation right. rockets just sound awesome. Now there is plenty of room behind the, uh, and plenty of flat space on uh, to magnetise those on. If you wanted to, do you want these magnetising? Are you happy with? No, I'm happy. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I at might, the end of I might day, get another one further down the line. Yeah, and but at the end of the day, it's like. It, there's no massive visual difference between them. No, there isn't. As long as you tell your opponent, actually it's shooting this. Yeah. It's not really upgrade. I don't see the problem. Um, especially on these, because they're so similar. Mm -hmm. So actually one's got three little rockets and one's got one big rocket in. Yeah. Me. Uh, you could even build like two of one and one of the other if you want. <laughs> uh, yep. But yeah, there's plenty of room in there for a magnet to go in if you wanted to magnetise your weapons. No reason why you couldn't. Apart from the lack of magnets. Uh, yeah. If you don't find any magnets, <laughs> probably wouldn't work. Uh, is that the right one? Um, the middle one? Uh, yeah, there's two 73s on there, so it could be that one, because 172 and 173, ah. that was a problem. Well, that one was definitely goes, on, that one definitely goes on there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's labelled wrong. Yeah, on the picture there's two 73s, yeah. although on the sprue it's 72, 73 and 74. So we got some conflagration rockets. Uh, the other ones would look almost identical. Yeah. Then we have these are the pipe organs. Mm -hmm. uh, this looks like it fits just underneath the. Oop, just throw it around, why don't you? Uh, we've got um, two little attachments there. Probably in the middle. And that fits. He hopes. Onto that. With all these bits on, it'd be even worse if we put that other bit on. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it says don't glue it in. Oh my lord, any tweezers or something? There we go, we're in. Well, that covers up half the detail, as in, you're not going to paint it, you're never gonna even going to see it. All oh, the pipes have got like the bits on. Alright. Oh, uh, there we go. 
So we have 33 and 30. What are these? Little nubs. Uh, they seem to go here. Almost. So where do they go? I think. Like little uh, Little. Do they go on, on this bit here? Like they I mean. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. More fanciness. Strange. It's a bit odd why they're separate. Mm. Never mind. So they're just sitting in there. Right. Okay. And then we have the the front part, the the I don't know what you call it. It's just the like round. A, it's a round. round. Yeah. Uh. Well, it's a just, grill. It's just, it's, it is a grill. Yeah. 15 and 14. Those two parts will go together. And then we have 49. 50. I should go on the back of this. No problem. Those are the bits are going to stick onto the tank, are they? No, actually they're not. That's the bit that sticks onto the tank. These bits stick on here. So, where these blocks are. the blocks though. There we go. That's the front grill and then that attaches the tank. And there's there are two obvious spots where it attaches as well. Um, Okay. Right. Now we have all the Baroque stuff to put on, so let's get that <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, 62 and 61 which made these trumpets. Which is the best thing I can describe them as. Uh, I think they're like uh, probably the uh, equivalent of the loud hailers. Yeah, like a loud hailer. Yeah. There we go, sticking those two parts together. And then they will fix themselves to the center. Um, set of organs, which is there. There's some, there's some residual glue on that. That's just stuck straight on there. Let's try to get off. So, there. It is like a loud hailer, isn't it? Mm. Uh, then we have these little bits of fanciness. 71, 69. All fairly on there. And they go on top of these parts. Glue on there. On a lot. Come on, get on there. Just get to line it up. <laughs> there we go. So, pretty much like that. Uh, and the other one on this side, 69. Okay, 
that's lined up. Then we have this halo part, which it goes on the centre one. And this one, I'll definitely just attach the glue to this. Mm. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty straight. Just making sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Uh, then we have these parts, which are like some like inlay, sort of like with cherubs on. They go above the doors. I think they're for the uh, the names. The name of the tank. Uh, looking at the uh, sheet, you've got um, Prioris. You've got Sanctorum, and then you've got a list of names that you can call it. It's pretty funky. Maybe see when you like. Um, not yet, but I'm going to have a look and see if I can find one. Okay, so what I'll dry is next up is the Hunter Killer Missile. Mm -hmm. Which is the most ornate hunter killer I've seen. Uh, two <laughs> parts. That bit and that bit. Like so. Oh, damn it. Stay home. <laughs> like that. That was cool. Mm -hmm. And then that was 28 and 27. Yep. Uh, and then it's actually optional this really I mean it doesn't say optional but you can have a missile in a route couldn't you you, you could, could really be fired. Yeah. but uh, and again you could magnetise this to the tank with a little magnet there, and then when you fire it you can take it off but meh <laughs> it does look cool it does so then that attaches onto the tank I'm just make sure that's got a good clean connection So, it doesn't really matter which side it goes on, it could go on either side. Side alright? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. So we'll attach that on there. You don't have to attach them to kill her either. You can have it not on at all. It's completely optional. But it does look awesome. Yeah. Right, uh, before I do the sister, what I'm actually going to do is put 77 and 76 on. Which are these, again, reliefs parts. They go in front of the. Uh, organ part. So that bit attaches onto there. So the bit that's been missing. I kept wondering what went there. It's these parts, and that's 76. And again, there's just this little indentation at the bottom and this little bo bubble there that it attaches to. Bubble. Like that. Looks awesome. There's so many little neat little things on this. Uh, now, the driver, well, not driver, gunner, the musician. I don't know. Gunner or musician? I don't know. Uh, we have parts. 82, which is the back part. You have part 84, which is the front part. Those two parts will fit together. Before you put those together, make sure you stick the arms in. Because she's got her arms out stretched. That needs to go in there. And then you can put the front part on. It goes on there. And then we should fit this bit on. in place. And then you've got three heads to choose from. 85, 86 and 87. 87 has got some weird great Yeah big, that, that's 87. Pan's labyrinthine kind yeah. of face mask. Sort of. There you go. It's weird. Yeah it does look weird. I, I don't know whether I like it or not. 
to be quite yeah. honest. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit uh, like, I'm not sold on it. I don't mm. like that at all. No. Personal taste. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely personal taste. It's just... Uh, um, we have pretty standard sort of 86, which is just a cool sister of battle head. Yeah, or there's one with like an eye patch. Which is that one there? An eye patch, is it? Yeah. It? Like an eye patch. It is an eye patch, isn't it? It is an eye patch. Eye yeah. patch. And shorter hair. But most of... Go for 86, did you yeah. say? Yeah. And we'll also put the 83 on, which is the back patch. It's a standard sort of back patch. It will go on. It will go on. <laughs> Tell it all. Like so, there we go. So there is the musician. Cool. Uh, again, I'm going to leave this one separate. Yeah, so I can paint. Chiefly because it's easier to paint the insides yeah. without her being there. It is. Uh, she stood up. She's still in a good position to sort of paint her. But you won't, it's going to be really difficult to get to the keys. Yeah. With her on. So that's going to be another part which uh, doesn't get glued in until the end. Speaking of parts that I'm going to glued into the end, cherubs. Yay. So this tank comes with two cherubs. Uh, we've got part 99, 98 and 100. Again, I'd, I'd see these as completely optional parts. They don't really do anything for the tank other than be ornate. 1998 together. And we put the wings on. About 100. Making a cherub. There's a flat side to the sensor that he's swinging around, and that flat side attaches onto the. So that's where he will go in the end. But, so now boingy this is, it's going to be a lot easier to paint him separate. Speaking of boingy things, another cherub. This one's four parts. So it's arms and body separate. So we have part 56. Is the that's part 55, which is these arms. Yep. And he, is he actually going to be... He's holding he's on to He's actually holding tank. on to yeah. the tank. So that's yeah. how he's going to be attached. But again, this is a leave-off paint mm. attached at the end job, I think. Yeah, definitely. Uh, put the head on, which is part 57. He's sort of looking to the side, though, isn't he? So and so. Uh, <laughs> then we have the you wing. really don't like them, do you? They're odd. They're just odd. Find them odd. <laughs> I'm not sure whether having the skulls makes them less or more freaky. But there we I go. think it's more freaky, to be quite honest. Right, so then that leaves us with the smoke launchers, oh, which is 32, 34. Mm -hmm. We're going to glue those bits together. We should be gluing those bits together. Don't want to go. There we go. Good. Make sure that's followed the line up, otherwise, that would give me OCD. Uh, and then we have 29 and 31. Mm -hmm. Actually, sit on the tank. Uh, they look like those, oh, they go on those, those little, little wedges, things, don't they? Little wedges that you've just put those on. Those little wedges that I was complaining yeah. about not being any use. That's what they're for. Okay. Uh, I think it doesn't really matter which one goes where. That goes there. That one can go there. Yeah, that looks good. There you go. Cool. Should they set the line up? Nice. I think that's an awesome looking model and tank. 
Should have read out the uh, original. Yeah, it. it's uh, somewhere it's upstairs, upstairs, I believe. Yeah. It's in the attic. Yeah. So that will bit will go in there. So that whole bit's textured, doesn't it? Oh, like it doesn't even need to be there. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it needs to, to be quite honest. I bet it, you don't need and it. And she'll go in there. Yep. Dramatic position. Little yep. chab attaches oh. onto there. So he's holding onto that. Yep. From grim life. And then, uh, the reason I had these on is because I know how hard it was like to paint the spirit horse or mm. like, in a gash and paint other things like that, like spirit horse. We got like, <laughs> yeah. the spirit is very boingy. They are, yeah. Uh, he'll go on there. Yeah. And it's done. So that's the tonk. Mm hmm. The exorcist. Nice. It looks awesome. It, it really does, does actually, and I think it's a better model than the old one because the old one was just a yeah, it's, a plastic rhino with a metal attachment on top. Yeah, it's more unique. It there's more. Heavy. There's more baroque stuff on it. I keep mm. saying that. It's a nice word for the day. Uh, there's more ornate stuff on it. It's a lot more sistery. Um, it's as more well. sistery. Yeah. It's a good point. Yeah. It's more sistery. It was fairly easy to put together, actually. Mm. To be fair, most of those parts just fit in. Um, I like it. I like it. Oh just got, you just got to make sure nothing jumps out. These front two, front two tracks jutted out after I put them on, but they've gone back on quite easily. Um, so you just got to make sure stuff like that when you put it together. There's no real wobble there. These bits are the most annoying. After I put them on, I kept knocking them off. As I thought I would, as soon as I put them on, I went, they're going to keep coming off. I knew it. Um, you could even, because of where they are, you could even leave those two little stands to the end. Yeah. And put them on at the end. That wouldn't be a bad idea, actually, because there's no, there's no reason why they have to go on that early. Other than to infuriate you, keep knocking <laughs> them off. There we go. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Hope you've enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully next time you see this is painted. Yes. You, you're coming along with your sister? You doing I right? am actually, yeah, I'm doing yeah. alright. I'm on the uh, last two Arco flagellants and then I need to do my pe penitent engine and then base them all and they're done. That box set that I got will be done. And then I can move on to the sisters that I got on this. <laughs> cool. That's the... Uh... Yeah. In the back, <laughs> rattling around. I really like this. Nice. It's good. I can see someone else getting one now. No, oh, it looks awesome. I got my problems going to be with the emulators, I think, because I, I, I like the stained glass bit on it. Mm. Plus, I'm only going to get a very small sister's force, like Just squads of five. So I want it to be mobile. So I'm probably going to have a ton of emulators just to drive them around. And <laughs> Immolate people. Immolate people. <laughs> yes. As the name suggests. Right. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. And you guys take care for now. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm. But there we go. Bye for now. Have fun. Bye.